All right, so I'm out here on Braddock. There's another showing going on right now, but there are people that I know, so it's just fine. Here's your neighborhood. This spot in Kettering, <clears throat> the northeast side, it's a nice spot. Uh, you're gonna need new carpet. This is the standard setup for the Rosewoods Garden subdivision. Um, this was old military housing from the 40s and the 50s. So these are all basically the same with the sunken in entryway and the pop-out window there. And then this is this is unique to this house, this um, kind of breakfast bar setup. Um, but they all have you know, trash can storage or pantry storage, what have you. A lot of people use these for trash cans. These guys have a lazy suit set up in there. And then just a little bit of pantry space. Um, and then you got, you know, original cabinets from the 50s. Um, these are nice countertops. These are actually stone, so these aren't pressed wood. Um, I don't want to say these are, they're not, obviously they're not granite. They are like a Corian, but you can see where it's settled and kind of pulled away needs recalked in. It's got the corner sink set up, um, vinyl, windows, two car garage. That's our other group out there. Um, it's got the pass through here, leads down to the basement, leads to the backyard. Um, check your backyard right there. You see that hill coming down, bringing all your rainwater straight back to the foundation. That could be something to keep an eye on. Half bath here, connects to our first bedroom. Now this is three beds, one and a half bath, 1,108 square feet again, which is the setup, the identical setup for all of these ranch styles in this neighborhood. The hardwoods don't look bad. They can use a little bit of cleaning up, but they don't look bad. Closet space isn't terrible. Bedrooms are a little small. Um, one of the biggest offenders in these houses that is almost universal to every one of these houses is asbestos tile on the floors downstairs, but that's something um, that's gonna be under the carpet downstairs. Now with asbestos tile, that's one of the best ways to uh, take care of it is encapsulating it. Um, and usually if it's a tile, floor tile, um, carpet, new flooring over top of it, usually takes care of the issue. How are you gonna get that lid off there if you need to service that? I don't see any hinges. I do see uh, that comes out, I guess. Um, it's, so it's dated. It needs it needs a little bit of updating here. You've got your laundry chute here. Let's, um, a super cute neighborhood back here. Um, just kind of older houses. Let's go take a look, see at the basement. There's, there are a couple issues I want to point out to you about this one in the basement. I like the, I like the handrail. So coming out of the basement, you're probably going to need to replace the carpet. It smells musty, a little dank. Some missing tiles there. Um, fireplace they didn't have any notes about, considered to be an as-is kind of fireplace. You can see a little bit of damage in the top coat here. And this is, might as well be drywall, but a lot of times that's from water intrusion. It's a little soft. You got a little bit of storage back here. Just a little bit. And then coming into here is where we see most of our offenders. You've got an older furnace. It's an old Maytag. Maytag doesn't do furnaces anymore. It's a high efficiency. Um, looks like they had it clean back in 2020, but they don't do furnaces anymore. Chrysler doesn't do furnaces anymore. A lot of those big names that tried to expand out into different markets, they don't really do that anymore. Um, second, you have a pretty sizable crack that looks like it's making its way back through whatever they used to try to seal it up. 
So normally when this is done correctly, you'll see injection points and they'll break off the injectors in the crack. That's just how it's done. And then you'll see it smoothed over. <clears throat> this looks like kind of a homeowner job and they've got some things in front of it. So you can see that water's still coming through. So their, their fix didn't really work. Next, you've got the Federal Pacific Stab Lock Breaker Box. Now these have been deemed a fire hazard. And what happens with these, is say you got your 20 amp breaker there. It's 20.1 amps, it is supposed to trip. Sometimes these breakers don't trip. So they will just keep cooking and cooking and cooking the circuit until uh, you get a fire. So there's no official recall on them. If you call the city out to inspect it, the city has no problem with it, but any electrician or inspector worth their salt knows that those have been deemed a fire hazard and won't even take them apart to inspect them. They just mark them as a defect. Glass block windows are nice. Another design for that asbestos tile. Um, so again, and you've probably got those all the way through all this carpet. But encapsulation is the best way to deal with it. You can see that they had some kind of drywall up here, and now they just don't anymore. It's not a bad house overall. It's dated um, for 180, almost 181,000. I think maybe you guys could do better. It's not terrible but you're not buying the house, you're buying the neighborhood, you're buying the school district for that price. Taxes about $2,800 a year. So not terrible. All right, off to the next one.